Hello community, so great that you are back. Yes, today we have a new video and welcome to my channel Discovery Eye. Now, I got quite a lot of replies here from you and you say, hey, how can I stand out in AI? How can I get a good job in AI? And then something that really <laughs> surprised me, hey, will you finally challenge us and not just tell us here about the latest research? We want to be integrated. So, okay, great. Uh, you know that everybody can import PyTorch or run here as standard fine tuning. This does not get you hired anymore in 2026. To get, if you really want to top jobs in 26, and I'm not talking about a junior position, you need to show that you can solve complex tasks, up to a structural paradox or even multiple structural paradoxes. So, okay, I have a challenge for you. And this is not to challenge you, but it is, is to get everybody familiar with those ideas that you might encounter if you have a job into you. So those tests are absolutely fascinating and you can have a lot of fun with this. But of course, we have to train for this. So if you want, continue. I selected now, I've read more than 250 paper here, the technical abstract, and I selected for you already four paper. So it's a real simple job for you. No? They're all here from January 6, 2026. So they are brand new and they seem unrelated. So the challenge is now if you can combine them and already selected four very particular papers, so you get it, it's simple. So if you can combine them into a new system that solves a current problem, and I mean a complex problem, yeah? we understand each other, you are in the top 1%. So first model is here by Stanford University and NVIDIA. Oh, this is from today, January 7th. Okay, this is real brand new point world. Scaling 3D world models for in the wild robotic manipulation. So this is here, you have here a problem description from NVIDIA and Stanford University, and they're working here on a solution. So what a beautiful idea to integrate this as a first paper. Now I want to give you a little bit more information and you see here a large pre-trained three-dimensional world model that predicts here a full scene 3D point flow from a static point cloud and an embodied agnostic description of robotic actions presented also as a 3D point cloud and they now create here a three-dimensional dynamics modeling data set. And you immediately understand what this is all about. We are not going anymore with pixels. We are going here with abstraction of point clouds to reduce the complexity. So NVIDIA, of course, you immediately understand what we are talking about. The second paper. Second paper is from the Tsinghua University, our Chinese friends here, the MIT in China, and QN Team Alibaba Incorporation. And they have some insights here on vision language model for vision language action models. And they also go for revisiting the vision language model here for the robotics. But they have a complete different point of view. No? Look at this. They discover something that is absolutely groundbreaking. And if you want to have a look at this, maybe you understand it immediately what we're talking about. Or why not have a look at the paper? Now, the third paper, I know you say, hmm, okay is also from Tsinghua University and Xinjiang University. It is a little about, a bit about LLM agents, no? 2026, we still have agents, but let's talk about a long range memory function for our agents. And let's talk about a very particular memory configuration, which they call here a topic continuity and how to interweave this here with long range memory LLM agents. This is a beautiful study. So you see, I, already selected for you absolute, I don't know, A++ studies. So this is a joy to read those studies, get familiar with this, understand what is the current complexity. Oh, this is also from January 7th, 2026. So today, so what is the problem today in AI that they are trying to fix here? Yeah, Manbox construction, really interesting. I told you I give you all the best papers and then yeah, then since we already have been at Tsinghua, the, the Chinese MIT, let's go with MIT itself. Unfortunately, Stanford published only one paper today. Come on, Stanford. So here in Stanford, we, we in MIT, we go for a digital Red Queen. And we said, why go we now for Red Queen? Cybersecurity? No, it is about a learning. But it turns out, if you have agent against agent here for cybersecurity, and you go here for this core war game, let's say, let's call it a game, 
this system can learn exceptionally well. And MIT and Sakana AI have a deep dive into the understanding why this, if you want, program evolution is happening so fast here compared to, to a more static interaction. So yeah, of course you want to go with quote about a behavior space. So you see, this is now the fourth paper that I selected for you. So now you can have a lot of fun. Now you, maybe your brain is already exploding. Pause the video, read the paper. How would you connect them? If you want and you found a solution, post it here as a comment to this video. I will read the comments. I will show you tomorrow some of my solution. So never mind. This is just to have fun, to get you familiar with a complexity that you might encounter on the job or if you have a job interview, whatever you prefer. If you say, hey, just do this for myself, beautiful. Just get familiar with this kind of complex thinking. If you want, use your preferred AI, no problem at all. Okay, if you say, hmm, I need a little bit more information from your side, of course. So. What is it? It's January 26th and we need to talk about the elephant in the room of embodied AI. So we have, let's say, okay, we have solved the poetry, you know, the creative writing style with GPT. We have solved the coding, at least what we heard from Claude Code here. If you use here this uh, beautiful um, plugin here, Ralph Rigum here. And we, of course, solve image generation, no problem now, because we have Nana Banana Pro. So AI is just perfect now, beginning of 2026. But ask instead of the odd robot to reliably pick up a slippery, transparent glass of water and it will fail most of the time. So you see, don't look back at problems that have been solved and don't give me a history of I don't know what. If you can show me here that you are able to look at current problems and you are able to find a solution trying here in a combinatorial way. You don't have to be a genius by yourself. Combine new research and show me that you understand what is the problem, how you can combine it, and how you can be a genius, and how you can outperform any AI system as a human. So, you see, I would say, okay, what is the main problem? No? And you might say, why is this problem robotic? No? And the answer lies in a groundbreaking paper that I just show you here, Vision Language Model for Vision Language Actions. No? I would start, for example, with this paper. Because here, Q1 here in Alibaba, they clearly show you here, and it's always good if you have here someone that implements this and builds here the LLMs, and you have a university here for the pure theoretical part, you learn a lot of in this interplay here between those two players. They look at this and they find exactly the problems that you should be interested in. Because the authors uncovered a fundamental flaw in how we build robotic brains, no? And you know, and seen in my video, no, for our foundation vision models, we had a clip or a sick clip or as the eyes, if you want, of our robots, no. Now the authors in this new paper show us that those models are trained on billions on internet images to answer a single question: What is it that you see in the image? And our models are great in this. They can look at a mug and tell you, hey, it's a vintage ceramic coffee vessel in a Victorian style. It was produced 124 years ago and over there. But, but they are terrible in mechanics. They are terrible in robotics. They don't see anything that is connected with friction. They don't see a center of mass in the object that they want to touch or pick up from the table. They don't see the grasp rack, the rack they can here grasp an object here and identify, oh, if it's a glass handle, you have to be real careful and all of those things. All of those things are missing the authors of this particular paper tell us. So the paper proves that the semantic excellence that we have in our vision language action model is great. But come on, this correlates with a negative control performance here of our robot. So by teaching now the next AI models to focus here on the vintage pattern of the mug, yeah, this might not be the way forward. Because yeah, those AIs are just functionally clumsy. Forget about it. So what is the solution? They simulate here <laughs> the simulation singularity, let's call it this way. And you see, now we combine those two papers. We combine the insights and the methodologies of those papers. And they are brand new. 
So how do we teach a robot to stop being an art critique and start being a physicist that understands the real world? We can't just fine-tune on more images. We already have, I don't know, 100 billion images from the internet. Come on. We need now a world model. We need depth. We need dynamics. We need material understanding. So therefore, I selected for you the second paper, the Point World paper. Now, this is not just another video game engine. This is a scalable, differentiable, mathematical, three-dimensional point cloud world model. So, unlike previous simulators that used as a mesh approximation, they model here the raw flow of the points, the matter itself. But you don't go with all the pixel complexity, but you have a set of points. And this allows us to simulate the exact physical consequences of, let's say, this gripper, robotic gripper, slipping on a surface here if it wants to touch a glass of water. There's an engine of complexity, no? And this is now our third paper, The Digital Red Queen. And I've chosen this paper, uh, no, I'm not going to tell you, The Digital Red Queen. This paper has the following content. It revives the concept of the core war programs, fighting programs in a memory arena. So it simply shows, and this is here the insight, that when you pit agents against each other in an adversarial evolutionary spiral, this is the Red Queen hypothesis, maybe you have seen something in TV already, they develop complexity far faster than in a static optimization. They find exploits, they harden their defenses, and they optimize their code to the bare metal. Yes, beautiful. So let's use this paper and the insights from this paper. So now you already see we have now three papers that you can now understand, that you can now play with, that you can now interrogate, say, how can I use the insight of this paper? But of course, make, making here the link to the next paper, in evolutionary robotics, there is quite a challenge because this evolution is the wasteful. You remember AI memory, anything with frag is just a bucket of vectors somewhere in a vector space. So you throw everything into this vector space. And when you search, you get back some random fragmented sentences that happen to look similar in a cosine similarity. I would have re-ranker and a re-re-ranker and whatever. But you also have a topic drift. So the AI forgets what it was doing, what it was this something, or it loses the thread of a complex task. So the authors of the next paper found a solution. Membox. Mapbox fixes this, according to the authors, by structuring here the memory in a particular way into topic containers. So it detects when the subject changes, creates a new box, and stores all the related context inside the specific box for a new topic. So now when the AI needs to recall something, it doesn't go in a vector space and has here cosine and similarity or anything else. It just retrieves here the entire context box for this particular topic, preserving here the continuity of that specific sort process that went into this box. Think about it. In a standard Red Queen setup, no? Generation 50, no, finally it learned how to hold a slippery glass. But if Generation 51 is tested on a heavy rock, the glass holding genes, let's call it genes, might be lost or overwritten because they aren't useful here for the rock. The knowledge dies with the individual, another topic that we have in current AI. No? And in this paper here, in an LLM, the topic is a conversational threat. No? But in robotics here, we redefine a topic as a physical interaction class. So really he is lifting heavy cubes or gripping here transparent cylinders or whatever. So paper is highly interested. So for example, when an agent in a point world successfully, and you see already, I give you some hint. So when an agent in a point world successfully solves the task, picks up the glass without breaking it, the system can now theoretically trigger a membox write event. It does not just save the score of this, it takes the specific weights of the visual adapter and the memory policy used for this particular movement and packages them into a topic box labeled here Membox, transparent, cylindric, or friction, or whatever you like. But you understand immediately here the core idea of this new paper. So now a new agent, let's say in generation 100, is born. No? It sees a glass, 
Instead of starting here the evolution from random noise again in Darwinian processing, it takes millions of steps, it just queries here the man box, huh? Visual input looks like a transparent cylinder. Do we have anything, any box for this? Retrieves here this transparent cylinder friction box, hot swaps its brain, instantly loading here the glass holding adapter, evolves by its quotation mark ancestors. Simple solution. So you see, I selected these four papers for you to give you here a chance to get familiar, play with it, enjoy it, understand each paper, but understand how you can connect them. If you train this, you will really have an outstanding capacity if you do have a job interview or you present yourself or your ideas, it's not enough to have a beautiful GitHub repo for everything that everybody else is doing here, as shown on Twitter. That's not the way forward. Yeah, for junior jobs, okay. But if you want to go for some other jobs, yeah, either you are the CEO or the CTO, but, you know, Eric, you can have so much fun. This is such an interesting topic here. Try to solve here higher complexity topics and you will stand out from the AI crowd. I hope you enjoyed it. I will have in the video tomorrow, I will show you two, maybe four simple ways how to combine this, get new insights. But anyway, whatever complexity you want, prepare something. Prepare something that you can impress here, your into your the HR department, whatever. Go with actual problems that are not already months old. Come on. Make it interesting because you want to show off your abilities. I hope you have some fun. Maybe you want to do it. I'm looking forward to your comments. And yeah, tomorrow I'll show you some of the possible solutions. Great. Subscribe, become a member. I hope I see you tomorrow.